here I have course projects. It's a complete 180 degree phase shift now. Remember I said that you'll have to do course projects in teams? The entire class in multiple teams will be doing only these two projects. Each project will be executed or will be completed, will be developed by a team of about 10 to 12 people. Could be 8 people. This will consist of three groups typically, where each group is three to four persons. Okay. So three to four persons form a group, and such three groups form a team, so about 12 people. There will be multiple 12 people teams working on the project one, and a set of multiple 12 people team working on project two. And these teams working on project one will compete for the best product, for the best project. And the other teams working on the project two will compete for the best project. The first project is uh, given to us by Dean R&D, Professor Kriti Ramamritam. And he has announced a first prize of 10,000 rupees for the team which comes up with the best design for that information. I am adding another two prizes of 5,000 rupees and 2,000 rupees for the second and third. So that all the three teams get some, some uh, what should I say, uh, incentive. An e-learning tool which will permit a teacher to create synchronous, interactive, whatever, whatever, is another project. This I am sponsoring through the Eclavia project because this, will, this is required as an open source application. Okay. Uh, my tiers were not available in the first two weeks fully, but now they will be available. So Zubin, you can convey this message. Okay. So the website is uh, moodle.iitb.ac.in. Uh, you can take it down. This is the same website for everybody. Uh, for people who do not have an LDAP login, uh, you can log in as guest right now and uh, we'll figure out how to accommodate you later on. A guest does not need a password. We just, I just demonstrate how to do that. Okay, let's key in the website. Okay. So this is the website. And um, so as a guest user, the login is the first thing you do. The login is on the right top login screen. So as a guest user, you log in. Okay. And you can either go through the entire course list or at the same screen, you can search for the course using the course code, which is uh, CS634. So let's just type 634. Yeah, so there we have it, CS 634. Yeah. So um, Moodle is a uh, complete e-learning environment. Uh, we'll have uh, course discussions, uh, things like uh, uh, resources, assignments, everything over here. So uh, let's look at some of the features. Uh, let's look at the resources that are already up. So we have tutorials and presentation slides. Uh, so if we have uh, class 1, 2 and 3, so we, c uh, we can just download and uh, we can view the presentation as well. In fact, I think if this one supports, you can view it inside Internet Explorer. Yeah, so this one supports it. So, okay, too bad. Anyway, so you can download uh, these files. Let's go back. The tutorial sheet is also put up over here. If there's any trouble identifying some of the these things, please just let me know. Um, yeah, coming to the forums. So we have the news forum. There are a couple of messages already out. Uh, I hope people have been receiving this as email. People who are registered, IIT Bombay students are already registered by default, so they will be receiving emails. Uh, others might want to log in as guests and check out the announcements whenever they are put up. So this was the first message that was put up by a sir about the course uh, content and so on. Um, incidentally, the first assignment is Moodle usage. So uh, you just need to go out there and uh, check out all the features. Uh, let's check out the first assignment. The assignments will be kept here. So this assignment is about Moodle usage. Uh, you can read it offline and uh, let me know if there are any queries about the assignment. Um, let's log in as one of the users and see how to upload an assignment. So let's go to the, let's just directly start from the beginning and upload. Yeah, so let's log in. 
Okay, I'll just pull it. Uh, IIT Bombay students will realize that when you log in using your LDAP user ID and password, you will uh, get all the uh, courses that you've already registered for. So, in incidentally, I have many courses a semester. Yeah, so this is how the screen looks at, looks like. Additionally, you will be able to see, uh, okay, let me just move on to the student mode. Okay. So, as a student, I can actually even look at my grades. So, we have not had any assignments yet, so there are no grades to see, but your grades will be here. Um, you can also look at the other participants in the course, and um, there are a few other features which you can explore. Uh, in fact, let us know. Okay, so this is the week outline that you will have. Every week, whatever we will be doing, we will be putting up over here. For example, we put up the uh, slides in the first week, and the assignment is here. Okay. So how do we up upload an assignment? It's simple. There's an upload box here below each assignment. You can upload assignment. You can upload it as many times as you want. Just keep the file name the same. So each time you upload an assignment, the latest version will be kept over there. Okay, let me just go through the quickly the tasks that you need to do for the first assignment. Um, need to enroll yourself for Moodle if you've not already done so. Some of you might not have might have registered really late, so might not be enrolled in Moodle. So please enroll for Moodle. If you have trouble, just ask, uh, you can get in touch with me, you can write to us. Our email is cs634 at cse.iitb.ac.in. That's cse, cs634 at cse.iitb.ac.in. Uh, you can explore the forums, download the slides. What you have to do is create a text file with your first name, underscore, last name, underscore, roll number as the file name. And uh, tell us something interesting about the Moodle feature that you found. You also need to post in the forum so that you are you're comfortable with using the features and upload the assignment here. Um, if there are any questions with the interface, you can all ask me at the end of the session or uh, you can definitely write to me. Yeah, so that's pretty much it from our side. Um, if there are any suggestions with respect to the course, you can always mail it on the forum or you can mail it to us. Uh, we'll just see, sir, returns. Okay.